Hey guys, it's Memorizer92, and today I'm gonna cover the new Rayjammer guide after the August KR balance patch. This guide will be helpful when the balance patch happens in the West in the future. Then let's get started. Well, to be honest, there are not much thing to change from the previous build. Gear and stats, same. Earth and Trophy set with either crit spec or crit spec swiftness. Make sure to increase crit around 1300 for either stat of distribution, since it's important to have high crit for single hit skills. Engravings, same. Rayjammer, Master Brawler, Barricade, Supercharge, and Grudge. You can run Curse Doll over the Master Brawler if you want less risk with less potential. Ragehammer and Supercharge are the must-have engraving. For others, you can prioritize whatever you want. Now, the skills. There's a link to the skill set in the Discord channel where you can see the tripods and runes. Blue skills are same. Heavy Crush and Endure Pain is fixed, and you can pick either two from Dreadnought, Power Strike, Jumping Smash, and Power Shoulder. For the purple skills, Earth Eater, Full Swing, Perfect Swing, and Seismic Hammer. Perfect Swing is the strongest skill that Rage Hammer Destroyer has. There's a change in the Intemperance Tripod. Now it removes the first damage when it slams the body and adds that damage on the second damage, which is the swing. Also, the swinging motion and the hit sound changed. Seismic Hammer got a new tripod called Enhanced Strike in the first line, third one. It increases 40% of the damage at level 5. Thanks to this, now it became the second strongest skill. But now you have to use this tripod over the Tenacity tripod, so which means you have to use it carefully in the raid. Earth Eater and Full Swing similarly do the next strongest damage. The new skill, Earth Wave, does less damage than any of other four purple skills. So Rage Hammer will most likely not take it. For the runes, in my case, Bleed on Heavy Crush, Protection on Dreadnought, Overwhelm on Jumping Smash and Full Swing, and Focus on Endure Pain, Gale Wing on Rest of the Skills, Earth Eater, Perfect Swing, and Seismic Hammer. For the priority of the tripods, it's important to max out Purple Skills, especially Perfect Swing and Seismic Hammer. To make a summary, the only part that changed in the build is using new tripod on seismic camera. For the gems, you want to run attack gems on all four purple skills. And for the rest of the seven slots, you want to run cooldown reduction gem on all the skills except for heavy crush since it already has short cooldown. Okay, now let me show you a rough rotation. You want to apply armor break synergy along with taunt and super armor at first glance. Well guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and hit the sub if you liked it. Then see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.